I would say AB Review's prime objective is to be an ambassador, to be a visit card for the company. I often hear from salespeople who go out and the first thing they do is they present the latest issue of AB Review to the customer because, because it's something that, that is tangible, it's something you can actually hold in your hands, that you can look at, that you can show things in. The AOB Review is a corporate technology journal published by AOB, by the AOB Group. We present AOB's technology in a positive way, so we try to show the positive impact of AOB's technology on the world, on life in general, on technology, on human achievements. That's the new layout with it as that's, well. That's the new text, the new layout, yeah. yeah. Besides myself, we have two yeah. people here in the, in the, in the headquarters. In addition, we have various freelancers, outside people who do editing work for us and other work for us. So I'm assuming that because they've put this sort of grid... So right, right now we're working on the centenary issue. I think, I think it's huge. I, I've been trying to find out about other journals and how long they've been around, and it's, it's not always easy to trace the history. But I think there are very few corporations that can claim to have had a journal in continuous production uh, for so long. You know, many of the magazines we have today, such as Reader's Digest, such as Time magazine even, weren't around 100 years ago. So, so it's really spanning a period of time which in journalistic terms is, is huge. This is the basement of the AUB Corporate Research Centre in Dettville. This building actually goes back to the 1960s when BBC was still an independent company. The editorial offices of the BBC Review and later the AUB Review were also in this building for many years, which is why the archives are still here. There is a copy of every issue of the review that was ever published. And today the review is published four times a year, but there were times in the past that it was monthly, there were times that it was uh, every second month. It's changed, it's changed with time. Just looking at this cover, for example, this was the cover of the November-December 1914 AUB review. So at this time, the First World War had just broken out. But of course, Switzerland at that time was neutral, so maybe Switzerland had slightly different interests. And this is a picture of the uh, Berner Oberland Bahn, which is a, a railway which still exists today. It's a tourist railway taking tourists up to the Jungfrau Joch, which is one of Switzerland's mountains. And it's actually interesting, I did some research into this train we can see here, and that was still in use until last year. So it was just as old as the review, and it was still in use after 99 years. So that's just one little tribute to the sort of quality that we make and made. ABB Review is basically the bridge where we communicate the internal innovation results to the external world. So this is a great piece of ABB's communications portfolio. It has emerged very strongly over the years, it plays an important role and it will play an even more important role going forward. I joined the review team in 2004, which is 10 years ago now, so it's almost daunting to think that I've been here for 10% of the review's history, which makes me feel old. <laughs> I mean, if a hundred years ago you'd ask somebody, where do you see the future? Who would have foreseen the internet? Who would have foreseen uh, the smart grid? Who would have foreseen power electronics? Uh, there are just so many things which you can't even imagine because they're, they're so totally futuristic. I think you can't really predict where technology is going to go. We just know it's going to go somewhere. We just know new things are going to happen. <laughs>